<coughs> Bienvenue sur ma chaise. I'm Almost. Jen Atkin. Did I do it? <laughs> Almost. Oh shit! Let me try it again. <laughs> Bienvenue sur ma chaise. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to have the one and only French Effortless Ambassador of Cool Girls. They all that. She's a global director for Estee Lauder. She is a new mother. She does, does not look it, which is crazy. Do you like my wall? I do love your wall. Isn't it kind of fun? Because this is really the era that I love the most, so I'm really happy. Me too. It's like a mix of like some 70s with 80s yes. and 90s. It's so fun and inspiring. So we just did a really fun makeup tutorial on her channel, so you guys can go check it out. I'm going to show you guys how to get this effortless updo a la Rosie Huntington from the CFDA Awards. Um, I did that a few years ago. And she has the perfect hair for this. I'm going to show you guys how to get it really quickly using just a few products. Let's go. Bonjour. <laughs> So before I do any blowout or any sort of like updo, I need to make sure that the hair is going to like really stay and last. What is your issue with your hair? I'm a small head, so if I like tight my hair, yeah. I feel like I look like, you know, like more attacked. I don't feel bad for you. You're just tall and French <laughs> beautiful. So like, sorry. So I'm going to prep your hair with a little bit of our Way Wave Spray. It has no alcohol in it, so it's not going to dry your hair out at all and I use this again like anytime I do a blowout or anything just to kind of like give it it's almost like a really good like base. Have you seen the Dyson Airwrap yet? No I haven't seen it real. Okay so this is real. The great thing about it is instead of using like hot tools because I know French girls really love their hair to look like healthy yes. and they're low maintenance. Yes. So what's great about the Airwrap is that you can actually dry and style your hair at the same time. Alright, so literally you're just going to take this and it's so much less damaging for your hair than if you were to use like a flat iron. And the great thing about it, like are you impressed? Look at that. Yeah. And the great thing about the air wrap is this. It comes with these attachments so you can curl your hair or if you have really like frizzy thick hair, this is what I use all the time. A soft smoothing brush and a firm smoothing brush. So I'm going to take the corners of your hair now and come at it with this angle. Yeah, that's what I do. Good. Yeah, and I'm just going to basically take the hair and I'm going to kind of just twist it down as I'm drying it so that it goes away from your face. I like to pull with the hair while it's still a little like hot, just so it like gets the shape that I want it to get. So the air wrap works best on damp hair. So I've sprayed her hair with a little bit of water, we put in wave spray. I'm going to use the smaller of the wands, and if you notice it has an arrow, so you know which side the airflow. And it uses what's called the Kawanda effect. So I'm going to show you how to do it really quickly. So I'm turning the airflow up all the way, the temperature is all the way, because I'm not worried, it's not going to like fry your hair. Because you have the kind of hair that like, if you color it and use too much bleach, it'll get really dry, really frizzy, really like unbearable, but you, like your hair when it's healthy, like look at that amazing natural wave that you have, it's so pretty. But I'm going to kind of show you a quick way of just getting some nice body in the hair. I'm going to take big sections because, okay. guys, we're going to be throwing this up anyway, so there's no need to get like really like metic meticulous. What's the word? Mm -hmm. How do you say in English? There's no need to be precise. Also, je suis, je suis bon. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap around just like I would a curling iron. So basically I'm just going to hold the hair and keep the end out. And I'm just going to hold it for a few seconds. I'm going to push up for a shot of cool air to really lock the curl in. And voila. Oh Make my god. Heat. You guys, this, this is, is amazing. just air. It's not like curling iron. It's insane. Again, I'm going to follow the direction of the arrow. And I am holding it vertically and not horizontally so that I get what's more like a natural looking wave. Do you know what's so crazy is like I, the reason I called my hair curling way is because I used to do the shows back when like Daria was walking and like um, Anya Rubik and Freya Beha, like yeah. I was so obsessed with French girls because you guys just are like really the coolest because everyone had like good shoes, good bag, but like their glam just looked like natural and really pretty. <laughs> Always so oh, jealous. Yeah. Did 
looking amazing here. You have very obedient hair. Like it will do whatever you tell it really? to do. Really? Yeah. That's the only thing I have that does that. I always start like right around where the eye is. Put in the bend. Do me a favor, we'll show the people. Hold on. Turn to the side, put your head upside down and shake it. And stay there. I'm gonna take this just came out. Way super dry shampoo. This is like the queen of all the dry shampoos. Shake it, shake it. And then come up to the camera. Yes. Look at this. So beautiful. It took like literally no time. I look like I have so much volume right now. Like I have so much more hair. Good. I love this is all you. This everything. is no extensiones. Wow. Did you say uh, extensions in French? Extensiones. <laughs> extension. No extension. No I extensiones. <laughs> extension. Extension. So here's the deal with doing it up. Did you ever put your hair up? I do, but it looks kind of like crazy. Yeah. I'm gonna take, it doesn't look that cool. Alright, I'm gonna take a rat tail comb. It's all about. Rat tail? We call this? It's all. Rat tail? Rat tail? A rat tail, like a rat. A rat tail? It sounds like a rat tail, which I can It's like a rat like tail. It's like a tail. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a rat tail comb, and it's all about. I think people get overwhelmed when they do their own updo because everyone feels like, oh, I can't reach the way the hairstylist could. Yes. It's all about taking it into sections and doing it oh, section by section. I never, I just take everything and like put it up. And then right. I have this thing that's too up, so in the back it's no. super flat. No, mm -hmm. you gotta go section by section. So okay. I am gonna want a little bit of height here. So I'm gonna take just that very top section and kind of back comb it just a tiny bit. And I'm gonna actually not do it with the comb. I wanna do it with the Mason Pearson which is a boar bristle brush, you guys can find, they have copies of these, you can find it at Target. Sonia Kashuk used to make one, it was really good. But you're gonna kind of tease at the root just a little bit, back home with the brush, mess it up, make it look like you did it yourself. And then now I'm gonna take the other sections right behind your bangs and do the same thing, just kind of lightly brush. I spray dry shampoo, so I'm kind of working that into the roots as well as I go. So with fringe, you want to make sure that as you're doing your sectioning that you're leaving out the bits that you want. And what's so fun about this look is I like having those really like natural looking long pieces to kind of hang. They're just called tendrils. I actually, if you watch old episodes of like Man 2 and Oh from the 90s, they were amazing prom hairstyles that had this. It was like these just amazing cool 90s tendrils. Well, you'll just have to go change. No, you're gonna have to go change. Brenda, I am a spring princess. Kelly, I don't give a damn. God, this is so fun. I never get to do hair anymore because I'm like a business person now. This is so fun. You're done. Hi. <laughs> so another little trick, these are bang clips. You can find these at like any beauty supply store. Is that your stomach or my dog? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the bang clips and I'm basically going to clip away just right here those little pieces so that I don't get them mixed up with anything. Really just like that. So the sectioning you guys, I'm going to take a look at this. I really want to have like some nice body here. Um, I'm going to start from the ear to just above, just in front of the, the crown, at the very top of the head. Shh, Rue, <laughs> we're working. <laughs> Oh, we've See her character now? She's very, like, rebellious. Oh my god, it's my stomach. I'm sorry, I'm so hungry. I usually do every hairstyle with, like, four or five products top. So I'm going to take, this is Balmain Session Strong Spray, and I'm going to go far away, and I'm just kind of prepping the outer exterior of the hair. You might not think about this underneath part, but people are going to see it, so pay attention to it. I'm going to take my Mason Pearson brush and I'm just going to kind of brush through the hairspray. And also, she's complaining that she doesn't feel like she has a lot of hair since the baby, right? Yeah. So, it's going to also just like make it so I don't have to use extensions. Extensions. Extension. So, I'm taking my fingers and I'm just using my fingers to kind of rake the hair. I want to pay attention to the angle because you don't want droopy bun, you want it to be kind of high and lifting. So if you notice where her ear's at, I'm just gonna come up and follow that angle here and secure my first little ponytail. So that's where I'm gonna put that first ponytail and I'm just gonna clip that away for now. And I'm gonna take the hair underneath here, making sure I keep your tendrils out. 
and I'm basically going to do what we call a chignon. I like the Bob Ross of hair. Just gonna do a happy little, do you know Bob Ross is? No. Look at that, isn't that a nice little tree? And he lives right here in this brush. So I'm putting a little bit more hairspray there just to make sure that I get like kind of the, the shape that I wanna get. Then as I twist, I'm gonna take medium-sized French hairpins. I like to like bend it a little bit so that it follows the shape and the curve of her head. And I'm just taking the French hairpins and I'm over-directing it this way and then I'm turning it this way to secure it. All right, my love, so I like to keep that center part so you notice that like I've really been careful about not losing that. And what I'm gonna do is kinda let those pieces hang for now. I'm gonna take the hair from behind and again, I'm just using French hairpins. I'm gonna tease it for a back collar very lightly. I'm not grabbing the hair, I'm just holding it lightly so that, so that I don't have to use extensions. Instead of twisting around like clockwise, I'm actually gonna go and create kind of like a loose knot, almost like you're tying a knot because that's gonna give me the shape that I really, really want on the very top and it kind of helps me to just get as much like volume and body as I can. Okay guys, I'm holding this up so you can see. I'm a little off center. It's easier to see with a white background. So I'm gonna move it just a tiny bit this way. Secure it with a French hairpin. But you wanna make sure like as you're building that you're paying attention to details like that. Again, I'm bending those pins so that they really fit the curve of her hair and or her head. And now I'm gonna take my brush and we back combed a bit here. I wanna make sure I keep that fringe out. And I'm just gonna back home a tiny bit more because now that it's all coming together, I can kind of see that I could use a little bit more body right here at the root. Now I'm gonna take the hair here and I'm not pulling it too tight. I'm keeping it pretty loose. I'm securing it with French pins as I go. And I'm just gonna basically incorporate the sides into this bun up top. You're gonna take your bobby pin and you're actually going to just leave maybe two inches off the end and you're gonna kind of like twist the hair at the very end around the bobby pin. And then I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna tuck this away wherever I want to so that those like dry ends disappear. That's so cool. Voila. If you're here at the end of the road and you have a straggler and you're like, I don't really want it to be a part of this, just kind of take it, tuck it into the very like back of the French twist, the chignon. I need to get a little something in your ends. I'm gonna either use- My dry ends? If I, your dry ends. No, your ends are beautiful. Right? Right? So natural and pretty. Um, if I wanted to, I could use like way matte pomade if I don't wanna see the product, but I kinda wanna give you a little bit of a shine. So I agree. I'm using the Tancho stick. This is like old school. I don't know even where you guys can find this, but I'm oh. just gonna, it's like a deodorant stick. Oh, it is deodorant. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just gonna rub it on my hand and then kind of like work it through. It's very, very light. I barely have anything on here. And just kind of go through oh, much better. these It doesn't look so transparent. Transparent, dry, whatever you want to say. <laughs> my last thing I'm gonna do is give you a shield, because common courtesy, cover your face. Nobody wants hair spray in the face. I'm gonna spritz your fringe just to give it a little bit of cold. And then I'm actually gonna spray my hand and run the hairspray through the tendrils. So this again is where you can spray close to the head because this is where I want to kind of show my finger like raking through it. So if you have really fine hair and you want it to photograph, like if you have an event or you have like a party or whatever, or you're taking selfies at home, who knows? Take a little bit of, of shadow. I like this palette because it really has like all the base colors that most girls have. You're probably like a chocolate. I'm gonna dust some of it off and I'm just gonna go do her part just to fill it in a tiny bit so that it photographs really, really thick and mm -hmm. That's it. Like barely go through it nice. and it's just gonna put it back on the It's so cute. Are you happy? French approved. You can't get your way back. French approved! <laughs> Magnifique! Look how cute you look. It's so I'm gonna cool. get out of your shot. Thank you so much. I feel so special that you did my hair. I feel so special that you came over to my house. Will you go help me with my wardrobe now? <laughs> so cute, like you're going to prom. 
Yeah, my dream. You just got asked to prom. So cute. We don't have prom in France, it's so sad. What? Okay guys, thanks for watching. This is a French twist on an effortless updo and you guys can get it very easily using just a few products and the Dyson Arrow. See you guys next time. Make sure you follow Violet at Violet underscore FR. I'll put it in the description box below. And toutes les vidéos de Jen et sois sûr de t'abonner à sa chaîne. What she said. Bonjour. No. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 <laughs>